Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, see if I can do a little bit better this time. Uh, I've done Shaman and Priest fairly recently. I haven't done Warlock for a while, I don't think. Let's do Warlock. You shall be mine. Yeah, that. Pyromancer, I wish I knew what my deck was going to be like, because the Pyromancer can be really good. He can also kind of backfire a bunch. I don't know. I think Sun Fury Protector is the most solid choice here. It's very cheap, and it lets you give taunt to very big things. In fact, since they nerfed the uh, protector, the Defender of Argus, I've seen a lot more of these being played, and I'm starting to think about getting them myself. Um, oh, this is tough. Power Overwhelming is good. It's not my favorite, but it'd be good to have some. I love Voidwalkers. He's so boring and so awesome. Like, he's such a good first-turn play, and he's just big enough that later in the game, I mean, he's worth one mana. Is he worth drawing? Is he worth your card? You don't really want that later in the game, but it can still help. Mortal Coil can also kill something, and it draws a card to replace itself. So it's like it's almost a free point of damage just to throw around. Ah, oh, that I'm going to regret not having Mortal Coil, but I'm going to take the Void Walker. I don't like you. You are probably better in a Warlock deck than a lot of other ones, because cards are cheaper for Warlocks, but no, you're still pretty crummy. I'm going to take the Stormwind Champion. Maybe try to get a bunch of cheap things. You're too expensive. You are not too expensive. Finally, a use for Loot Hoarder, because those other cards are not great. Like, the one with Corruption or whatever that thing is can kill anything, but it's so slow to work. Like, they get another turn to attack you first, and yeah, I don't like it. Could also be uh, silenced. Bluegill Warrior. Well, Bluegill Warrior is very tempting. They're super good, especially in Warlock deck. But I'm gonna take the Demon Fire. It can kill things, and if I get more demons, it becomes an awesome double purpose. These guys are both very good fatty sort of things. But I also like Silence, and again, I like the really cheap creature with built-in Silence for Warlock. Man. I'm going to take you. I'm going to hope I can get some more fat later as I go on. This is, again, it's better for Warlock than it would be for a lot of things. Like, there's an advantage to having cheap cards, but Bluegill still seems much more efficient to me. This is apparently an incredibly bullshit card, because it it doesn't say a friendly demon, which is just Stupid. Like, it, it's, I don't like hosers. I don't like when you have a hoser for a specific kind of deck. In this case, it's a hoser for other warlocks, but it's like, it's so stupid. I basically just refuse to play with it. If it was your own, if it was your own demons, it would be crap, but at least it would be fair. And for destroy an enemy demon? It's BS. It's just ridiculous hoser. So, nuts to you. You're crap, and you're actually totally good, so that's fine. Um, so this is a tough choice, because again, power overwhelming is good for finishing your opponent and for killing big, ugly creatures that you don't want to have to deal with. Voidwalker is still such a great first turn play, and... The more Void Walkers and Demon Fires I get, the more chances I have of getting that really good one-two punch. So, but he, I don't like him that much. But I don't, I don't have any of that three and four cost stuff. And honestly, if my deck was full of three and four cost stuff, it would probably win more games. Just like keep drawing two, three and four cost power creatures at the rate of two a turn. That's good stuff. I think I'm actually going to take the power overwhelming. I think that's. More surprise damage more helping me win. Okay, here's my rare. Emperor Cobra. It's not bad for three. I don't have good combo stuff with it. Young Priestess is a super strong first turn play. My deck's turning into all, like, low-cost stuff, which, I, it synergizes well with Warlock, but I'd rather be more expensive things. This guy, I just don't like him. He's... He costs one less mana than the uh, Senjin Shieldmaster. A 3-5 taunt is great. It's like good stats, but is not 
really, like, to get him one mana cheaper is not going to just, like, change the game in your favor as much as getting, like, something more aggressive for one mana cheaper. I just, I don't see it as being worth that to permanently blow up one of your mana crystals. It seems dumb. She is so good. This thing is good because it can kill big things. And again, I wanted more 2 and 3 cost, but I think I've got to take the Young Priestess because she's efficient and annoying. Uh, I don't have weapons. You'd be good, but I want more fatty, so I'm going to take the Dread Infernal, even though he kills a lot of my own, like, guys. These are all quite viable. Yeah, I really like Void Walkers, but I think I'm going to take the Wolf Rider because I need more ways to kill things. I'm very concerned about that. I don't have weapons, so you're not a good fatty for me. I don't like you that much, and I've got a couple things that can benefit from spell damage. Probably just take the Donner and Mage. Could it be worth taking the corrupt? The thing is, you take, you, when you corrupt some something, you're giving them the option if they want to use that thing and then trade with your stuff. Like it's so limited the situations where it's actually going to be good. I mean, it's good if your opponent plays a Sarah on you and you're like, Ah, what do I do? I'm going to take him. So, Prime Size Summoner, very good. That would combo well with being a Warlock. Cobra is good. This is a bonus rare, by the way, so that's nice. Doomguard is very strong. I don't like the random discard things. Like, I know, you may have seen my Suicide Lock deck where I play with everything that has random discard. That's because you reach a certain critical mass where you're usually going to have no cards in your hand, and therefore his disadvantage become is negated after, like, once you've emptied your hand, this is, this drawback is tr is very minor, actually. It rarely bothers you. But in a normal deck, I don't, it's probably still worth playing with one of him. Again, surprise killing is good, but uh, I'm, I'm going to take him. Why not? Probably gonna annoy me later. Uh, I don't like you so much. I think I'm gonna take you. Like, she's good. I mean, she's she does eight damage a turn if unopposed. But Tiger is more likely to get a chance to attack. Uh, Drain life would be pretty good. And I even have a spell damage guy. Although that's it's one spell damage guy is not does not a combo make. But Boulder Fist Ogre is just too good in the arena. Uh, you shoot things, which is okay. You're a demon, which I can demon fire, but I only have one demon fire, so that doesn't really matter. The one damage to everything could be good or bad, like, seriously. I have a fair number of cheap creatures, although I'm ra I'm ramping it up to be more expensive. I'm thinking the Frostwolf Warlord is probably actually the best choice. Cult Master, I could go nuts and draw, like, my whole deck, maybe. I mean, I already have all this card drawing. He's kind of expensive. But I might also have a bunch of cheap creatures. It's more easy for this deck to have a bunch of cheap creatures and then play the Cult Master or trade them for stuff and end up with more cards. Could be decking myself, though. With the Flesh Eating Ghoul, he's... I don't always like him that much because he's so fragile, but he, you use him kind of the same as the Cult Master, honestly. He's not drawing cards, but he's also cheaper. And he's actually, even though he's fragile for what he does, he's still tougher than a cult master. Uh, you know, drawing cards is stronger. I'm going to try the cult master, even though it's dumb. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of the void terror. It's, it's, it's like the definition of putting all your eggs in one basket. You can attack with the other creatures first, and then sacrifice them. But... See, you're still sacrificing those creatures to make him bigger. And then you know, he he becomes one target that can die, too. Like, if they're not good against priests, that's for sure. They just get the, the Shadow Word Death type thing. Other things that kill big creatures. Like, if you make him huge, then he becomes vulnerable to big game hunters and who knows what else. The Arcane Golem is pretty good for smashing people late game. I think Defender Vargas is going to be the way to go, though. I do have a lot of cheap creatures in here. Hmm. I'm going to go another Defender Vargas, if he's going to keep giving me rares. 
Really? Uh, so I can get a bad bear. I have no weapons, so he's just like the grizzly bear, but more expensive. Or the card that I'm not taking on general principles, or this thing is not very good. I guess I'm going to take him because he's a creature. This is what happens in a limited format. You don't have all the choices you want. Uh, summoning Portal, you can go crazy sometimes. If you can get it out in a situation where it's not going to die right away. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of, of course, it works best with three cost guys. I mean, it, it works just fine with two cost guys because you're getting them out at half price and you just go bam, bam, bam. And more expensive things, I mean, you still get them out cheaper. But it's hilarious with three cost stuff, which I really don't have. I have a lot of four cost guys, though. This would help with some things. It also draws fire. I think I'm going to take the fairy dragon instead, though, because I want more minions for offense. Okay, out of these ones, I'm taking the summoning portal. Yeah, urgent squire is good. I don't have that much stuff that buffs creatures, though, so that that's all they're really good for. This is tough. What do I have that's fat? Stormwind Champion, Dread Infernal, Boulder Fist Ogre, Ogre Stranglethorn Tiger, Frost Doom Guard. I wouldn't mind having more efficient, like for the cost, fat, although his drawback is kind of horrible. <laughs> for Warlock, especially, because I'm going to be drawing more cards and I got a lot of cheap ones. But he's still so big for five. Direwolf Alpha is pretty good. It's a cheap thing I can draw that could be adding four damage to of it immediately. You know what, actually, I have, I'm not that hurting for fat. I think I'm going to take the Tire Wolf Alpha. It synergizes better. don't like Flame Imps. Do I want another Dread Infernal or a Drain Life that I can kill things with? Take the Drain Life. I didn't like Flame Wolf. I didn't like Flame Imps before they nerfed it, when it, was, when it did 2 damage to you. It was probably actually good then, but at 3 damage, whenever I see my opponent play a Flame Imp, like 80 to 90% of the time, I'm like, oh good, a flame imp. It's just like another creature, except he did three damage to himself before I kill it. Um, Sense demons can be pretty good if you get it early on, but I don't have like crazy stuff that's worth getting out. It's sort of like if you have Jaraxxus in your deck, this guarantees that you're going to get him in, in a reasonable time frame, but... Yeah, Mad Bomber is okay, but Demon Fire is pretty awesome. I do have a, f a couple targets, although I ended only ended up taking one Void Walker, which makes me a little sad. Don't like you. You're not very offensive. You're extremely offensive. Holy crap! Where were some of you guys when I was having some of those crappy picks earlier? I like all three of these, like common ass creatures, a lot. They're all so good. I have three things that grant taunt, but I don't have a lot of stuff that just is taunt. Um, I did take the owl. I have one thing of silences, but more would be good. And he's also providing semi-fat, like a decent-sized creature at the same time. Power four is that like thing that priests hate because it's harder to, for them to get rid of. Harvest golem is so good, and he's a little cheaper, but. Cannot even choose between these. You know what? I have hardly anything that's three mana. I'm going to take him, even though I'd probably rather have the other ones. I should have taken the Spellbreaker. Whatever. Um, Direwolf Alpha is really good in this sort of stuff, but I'm kind of thinking Mortal Coil. What do I have that kills things? Power Overwhelming, sort of. Two Demon Fires. Blue Gill. Shadow Bolt. Drain Life. Drain Life's pretty weak. And the Wolf Rider. That's mostly what I have that kills things. Dread Infernal, sort of. Uh, I think I'm going to take the Mortal Coil. It does kind of draw a card. This is my... Rare. Wow. This is... These are some weird choices. I don't like the Pit Lord for reasons similar to the Flame Imp. Although... Like, like I'm, he does five damage to you. Like, he actually hits you a full time before he goes, before he can do anything to your opponent. If they kill him right away, then you just, like, charged yourself. Five, six for four is very cheap, though. Yeti's a four, five for four. I'd probably rather have a Yeti, actually. It takes quite a bit for it to compensate for that five damage. 
Big Game Hunter can be really good. I mean, 4-2 for 3, not that bad, really. Like, I don't like those stats because he's so fragile, but that's a lot of damage output. But really what you do is you save him in your hand and you use him to get rid of an enemy legend or giant tree or something that gets buffed too high. He, he's a problem solver. And then there's Bane of Doom, which is freaky. Like, it deals 2 damage to a character. If it kills it, it summons a random demon. So you can... I'm told you can't get, like, everything from this. Like, I'm pretty sure you, someone said you can't get Jaraxxus or whatever. I should really look it up, but I'm not going to take the time now while I'm recording. It's interesting, but it is, it's, it's expensive to do 2 damage. You can do 2 damage to an oppo your opponent with it. So it is flexible, although it's very weak to do direct damage to them. Two damage to a character, and if that finishes it, then you get a demon. So you're usually you're gonna get usually at least a like a void walker or some kind of imp or a uh, succubus, and you might I'm pretty sure you can get like dread infernal from it if you're lucky, but it's so random. I think I'm gonna go with the big game hunter. He kills giant trees. Ironbark protectors. I don't know how I feel about this deck. I don't know why I hit done instead of play. Yeah. So, I do have to remember to not talk about, like, bad arena runs quite the way I do. Because, as has been mentioned to me by many people, and they're right, technically if you break even in the arena, there should be nothing wrong with that. I mean... You got 50-50 against people with similar records to you. That should be sort of like an average result. And you know that a lot of time, a lot of time, people do worse than 50-50 because in order for people to do better than 50-50, some people have to be doing worse than 50-50. It more or less works out to that. Uh, this looks like a pretty good starting hand. Wolf Rider's a little suicidal, but the Void Walker is not, so maybe it balances out. He's suicidal not for me, just for, like, himself. Such a good starting play compared to a lot of other, like, one-cost things. Just one three for one, and his ability is not useless. That's... That's fine. Uh, small booze, that's not great. Yeah, I might have to trade my guy for him. It's too bad, but... Well, okay, stop being weird, game. Seriously, and you stupid bugs. I guess I can hit her for one. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to draw the card. So I hit her for one. If she kills this with a spell, if she frost bolts him or something, and then hits me for three, I can just come back with the wolf rider and take him out. It's not the end of the world. If she just uses his 3-2 to kill my 1-3, then next turn I can mortal coil it, draw a card. So that would be fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the card. I don't have any zero cost stuff in here. Okay, well that makes me sad. Now I wish this guy survived, or I wish I had drawn this one card sooner, because then I would have had a three five and it would have been awesome. But no. Thank you for stabilizing your board position. You know that also could have been mortal coil. So I'm gonna coil this. Here we go. Yeah. Do I demon fire this thing or draw a card? I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage if I draw a card. Don't especially want to waste it on this guy though. That she could be putting out something better. Oh, I'm a warlock. Might as well be suicidal. Next turn I can play this guy. He's a 3-3 three, three taunt, who is way over-costed because I don't have any weapons. Ow. Where were you last turn? I wouldn't have played him anyway because I had the mortal coil. Never mind. I'm still outraged. Blood and blood. Oh. Need to squelch. Could have got out of hand. My opponent might have said something. 
shoot it, and then, yeah. Not great, but it happens. I am taking a beating, though. Now, where were you all my life? That would have been useful earlier. Those guys each have one defense, and I can turn him into a taunt creature. That seems like a pretty decent turn of events. Because I also get a 2-3 in the process. Not thinking through that move a whole lot, but it does seem like a decent one. It's easy for a mage to do 3 damage. 4 is getting a little bit harder. So it's like it, you could use a fireball, but then you're using a fireball just to kill this. That doesn't seem very worthwhile. Although in this case it might be. I'm way behind in life. Okay. That works. Now what are you doing to me? Okay. Might find a use for that later. This is to all other characters. Includes me, includes her. So if I hit there, then they're just not going to trade in a good way. Um. So many possibilities. I think Tiger Priestess seems like a pretty good choice. See, if I wanted to take him out and I go Wolf Rider and hit him, then he'd be a 2-1. Then I hit that with her, she'd be a 2-1. That's not going to last very long. So many possibilities. And I can't afford to do that and that, so I'm not going to be drawing cards for it. No, no, it's not worth it. We'll, we'll just do this. Hitting my opponent directly when I'm already so far behind in life seems kind of poor, but again, she wasn't going to do anything much to this thing. But now what do you do? You can't even cone of cold very well, because the one that you want to cone in the middle can't be targeted. I am taking an atomic beating, though. That also doesn't help. I wonder. So if I play the Dread Infernal, I get a 6-6, six, six, and it kills that. But it'll also kill her. And reduce this to a 2-2. Two, two. To trade with that, because it'll also be a 2-2. Two, two. I can play the Wolf Rider and the Cult Master, trade the Wolf Rider so for this guy, and he's got two two ones. I'd be set up more for this in the future turn, but at that point I could be nearly dead, for all I know. She'll probably just flame strike so that it kills this guy at the same time so he doesn't draw any more cards, but I will have drawn one. If she doesn't flame strike, she can just kill it with one of these guys. Hmm. Is it better to just do this and have him out now? Ahead of the flame strike? Because he can survive a flame strike. She could kill it stuff, but I'll still have this guy. I don't know. Probably not the right move, but I'm going to do this. So you can go boom, flame strike, but then I still have a 5-1 kitty. You can also start blowing me up, because there's not much I can do about it. I would hit back. If, if she just left my forces alone, I would hit back for 13... Plus 7, so I can hit back for 20. Not quite enough. Drawing cards. That's bad, but it's in the short, shortest of short terms it was a good thing. Okay, that's not good. God damn. I'm so in death range. If she just has two fireballs, she can kill me. I want to play him and then Wolf Rider, but I don't think I can afford to. I think I got to blow up all that stuff. So many possibilities. Right. 
It would be nice to have board control ever. Obnoxious and wasteful, but let's just do it. Opponent doesn't have that many more cards than me, and I have the stuff in play. I do need to not die somehow. Ah, still cone both my big guys. Ooh. Card. Is that really what I needed? There's nothing though. So if I draw a card, I'm I've used up all my cheap stuff for killing that. It's unlikely I would get something that would help. I think I might actually no, I don't want to put out all my stuff because it'll get AoE'd. I don't really want to draw any cards, because I feel like I'm too low for that. It's probably stupid. I'm going to play that, and then let it go. I don't want to play any more stuff, because I'm expecting a flame strike soon. Excuse me. The problem is, if she doesn't have a flame strike, and she doesn't have enough stuff to just burn me out easily, then I might just be playing into her hands by not going all out. I don't know. But he I has an advantage so. to playing him, like, suddenly. The secret's not good. So many possibilities. I could actually give plus two to him and then big game hunter him. Which would get extra use out of the big game hunter. He hit my opponent for a lot. But he'd be getting a dark iron dwarf. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna silence him, not because I need him silenced, but because I need the if it's a mirror so entity, I want it to not be okay, good. It's not a mirror entity. Okay. I'm putting all my eggs in one basket now. I'm counting on her not to have an AoE. Hoping she would have used it. I've got the beast in my stay. Draw me a card. Did I have lethal damage? Probably not. 11, 14, 18. No, I had a lot of damage, not lethal damage. Vaporize? That's ice barrier. Okay. Here comes the giant AoE or something that just kills me. It's going to be one of the two. Because otherwise I would have too much chance. They'll never know what uh, okay, that and a fireball. Polymorph is not a fireball. That used up all her mana. Sweet. Okay, check for lethal because I've been being stupid. 5, 6, 10, 12, 16, 20. I think I have lethal damage here. Wait. I so thought I was going to lose that game, even though the evidence made it look like I had a chance. So, yay! One win in the bag. See how far, how much farther I can get with this fairly generic, but still seems pretty good sort of warlock deck. Next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you.